It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. Hey guys, Tally here. More recently, CPAC happened, and it was full of different kind of right wing speakers and Republicans. And naturally, I don't really care much about that particular issue. But there was one clip I saw that came directly from a person named Michael Knowles, who comes directly from the Daily Wire. And this is what he had to say in regards to transgender people. There can be no middle way in dealing with transgenderism. It is all or nothing. If transgenderism is true, if men really can become women, then it's true for everybody of all ages. If transgenderism is false, as it is, if men really can't become women, as they cannot, then it's false for everybody too. And if it's false, then we should not indulge it, especially since that indulgence requires taking away the rights and customs of so many people. If it is false, then for the good of society, and especially for the good of the poor people who have fallen prey to this confusion, transgenderism must be eradicated from public life entirely. When I saw this clip for the first time, I was absolutely horrified about this message that he said across how many amount of people who, of course, seen the clip. And not just that, though, people to this very day will continue to see this clip because the event is now well documented. Now, when I saw the clip for the first time, I also thought of the various kind of ways in which, of course, the ideas of genocide began to happen. The first stage of genocide is classification that all cultures have categories to distinguish people into us versus them by nationality, by race, by religion, and so on. The second step is symbolism. We give names to other objects, to the classification of ethnicity, race, religion, or nationality. We name people Jews or Gypsies to distinguish them by colors or dress and apply them to members of the group. The third step is discrimination. A dominant group uses laws or customs or political power to deny the rights of other groups. The powerless group may not be given full civil rights or even citizenship. The fourth step is dehumanization where one group treats another group as second-class citizens. Uh, members of like a persecuted group may also be compared with animals or parasites or leeches or diseases. The fifth step is organization. Usually genocide is always organized, usually by the state, though sometimes formally or informally by terrorist groups. Special army units or militias are often trained and armed. The sixth step is polarizations, where extremes divide the groups apart. Hate group broadcasts propaganda that reinforce prejudice and hate. The seventh step is basically preparation, where a natural a preparatory group leaders plan the final solutions to anybody or any target group. They often use euphemisms to cloak their intentions, such as referring to their goals as ethnic cleansing, purification, or counterterrorism. The A step is persecutions where the victims are identified as separate because of their ethnic background or religious identity. The ninth and tenth steps are extermination and denial. When Mr. Knowles claims that he wants to eradicate transgenderism, the word eradicate means to get rid of something. And so to me, you cannot separate transgenderism from transgender people and so to me it seems as though when I watched that clip he's calling for basically the genocide of transgender people. Now you're probably saying to yourself Tyler you're going too extreme he's not necessarily talking about of course transgender people. How about this? Can you separate the word black from blackness? You just simply cannot separate black from blackness. In the same sort of way, you cannot separate white from whiteness. There was an article that was done 
by Howard University where it argues that it wants to actually get rid of whiteness entirely. And to me, that kind of language is as genocidal as saying let's get rid of transgenderism entirely. If somebody were to say, I want to get rid of like, you know, Jewishness but not Jews, that to me would also be a form of gaslighting. But it gets worse. It just absolutely gets worse. They said that I was calling for the extermination of transgender people. They said I was calling for a genocide against, I said, what? I must have missed that part of my show. When did I, did I say that? I don't, one, I don't know how you could have a genocide of transgender people because genocide refers to genes. It refers to genetics. It refers to biology. And the whole point of transgenderism is that it has nothing to do with biology. That's what the transgender activists say. They say, forget about biological sex. My gender expression doesn't have to have anything to do with my biological sex. Okay, well then there can't be a genocide. That refers to genetics. This argumentation does not make any type of sense because by definition, a genocide is a deliberate killing of a mass group of people irregardless of their identity group. Look guys, I understand that like a lot of people who are activists go a bit too far with their approaches and it's actually right to call them out. But at the same time, it's also very important not to dehumanize people or say genocidal language just because you particularly do not like these activists. You cannot fight fire with fire. That's not how things actually progress. Instead, we should approach things with more humanity than what we have right now. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. He's your only black friend, so he's your best black friend. I won't <laughs> trade him for another black friend. Because black friends are rare, as you should be aware. He smiles like Richard Pryor, so just sit and stare. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler.